Hey guys, it's me again. Back here with another video. I'm working on, um, I'm working on a pretty cool project, actually. I thought about it. I'm putting this homelet my friend gave me. Um, it works pretty good, I mean, I haven't really actually ran it yet, but it has spark, I know that for sure. I'm going to be taking this RC car, for, um, hobby or great RC car. It used to be a brushless Red Cat Volcano, and I chopped it in half because I'm going to go like this. Axle there, front axle or front end here, and go like something like, let me see if you guys can see it. Something like this, probably. That way, I could get a drive shaft and maybe another gear that can spin the rear axle and somehow mount this engine back here. This is another frame. This is like some off brand thing. Some mad truck. I can't. I was called the mad truck. I don't know what in the world it was made by, but that thing is just a parts car. Pretty much both of these were, but I'm making one good one out of um, both of them. But yeah. Pretty much, that's pretty much it for the, for the gist of it. Just going to go along and see how in the world it turns out. Okay, guys, so I think I'm done for today. This will be part one, the Weed Whacker RC car. Not really for sure how many CCs it is, again. It's a homelit Weed Whacker. I've been working on it since I've gotten home because my carburetor came in the mail. And I don't even want to talk about that, honestly. That's gotten on my nerves. I, I don't know. I was being stupid since the way it was designed is that... um. The choke lever was in the way of the actual um, air box itself. So whenever I, I couldn't put the air box on there because the choke lever was in the way. So I ended up just, I don't even know. Um, I, since uh, I've had this happen to me before, but, it, but I just end up bending the choke lever because they're generally metal choke levers. But... It's plastic, of course, so I just ended up cutting it off after I tried a bunch of other things to it, and then thought about cutting it, and then was a mistake, and then my plan, my last plan was just to go on another, um, air box and cut this little thing off of it, or whatever. I wish I had, like, some sort of, like, air filter manifold, some sort of a thing. Um, I might just go, like, I don't even know, well, like, hot, like, cram, like, uh, like an air filter in there, like a piece of styrofoam or whatever, and like JB Weld that or like epoxy, whatever, something or other. This to there, I know it probably won't last that long, but whatever. I, that way, I can just get an air filter that way this engine lasts longer because this is a brand spanking new carburetor. Yeah, but where where I'm at pretty much on this thing is, um. Yeah, as you guys saw in the time lapse, I didn't time lapse me building this part though. Um, because it just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, yeah, I built the center beam. The thing's pretty sturdy, but still, I didn't put into conclusion. Um,. How, how um long this thing is, how, how short it actually is compared to the engine. I thought it would be long enough, but I don't know. I, I wish it was a little bit longer, and I mean, it's a smaller C car, so 
That's a really big engine. I mean, look at the scale difference. I try. I, it, I mean, I lengthened it quite a bit, though. What I'm gonna end up doing is taking a drive shaft, going from the engine, from the um, clutch right there, going from here to here with another gear. I might. I think I'm gonna have to put it on an angle, some sort like that, and then I don't know even know how I'm gonna mount it. I'm gonna have to put like five, sh like. Two or three shocks in each um, control arm now, but I don't know. I'm probably going to end up doubling up the springs on each of shock in the front and then leaving the backs the way they are because sink's going to be heavy as crap. And then I'm going to have to make like a wider wheelbase, but yeah, that's pretty much for this one. I know that was a mouthful, but you know, <laughs> um, yeah, that's part one. I don't know. I'll get... Get around to part two eventually. See you. Bye.